Hey everybody and welcome to my channel and welcome to part two of the new moon ritual series of three. If this is the first video you're clicking on of the ritual, I suggest you go in the description box and click on the link for the first video so you can kind of catch up to speed of where we're at for this video. So in video one, we went over uh, to how to choose where you're going to do your ritual, how to cleanse your space, and how to set up your altar. So part two is going to begin with choosing and deciding what your intentions are going to be. Um, grab your pen and a notebook and center yourself. And by center yourself, I mean just close your eyes, let out a couple deep breaths, allow your body to just relax and, and be able to sit with itself and decide what is it that I want to bring into my life. What am I going to use this new moon energy to bring in for me, for now, for my future? Um, and don't hold back. Just put down everything that you want to um, manifest into your life. Dream big. It Now is the perfect time to put it all out there, what it is that you are wanting and what direction you want your life to go in and how you want your blessings to reflect that. So once you have sat with yourself and you have decided what your intentions are going to be, what do you want to bring into your life? Then you open your notebook to a clean uh, sheet of paper, write down the date and the new moon at the top. Uh, so it would be February 5th, new moon uh, intentions is what you would write along the top. And this is what I uh, write in my book. You can use mine kind of as a base and then write your own if you wish, or you can use the same one that I do. So what I write in my notebook is, and I will type this in the description box below, so you don't have to keep pausing it and then writing it down, pausing it. You can just um, read it out of the description box and then, like I said, alter it in your own way or uh, use it, use the same thing that I do. So I write, Dear Universe and Moon Goddess, this or something better now manifest for the highest and greatest good of all concern. With this new moon energy, let my intentions be known that all things I co-create with the universe is to bring service to those who need it and to allow me to follow my true soul's purpose. Thank you for all the blessings in my life that I have received in the past, the blessings that I received today, and for the beautiful blessings I am yet to receive. For this, I am truly grateful. Thank you for co-creating in the manifestation of the following intentions. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> excuse me. And then write your intentions out. Write them as if they are already existing in your life. So um, say you want your business to hit six figures this year. Write, um, so let's see here. For that, I am truly grateful. Uh, for the blessings I may have to receive, for those I am truly grateful. I have reached six figures in my business in the year 2019 for this. I thank you. And I'm um, and, ugh, and I am grateful. Uh, put some thought into it. Uh, really, really write down everything that you intend to create and everything you desire, everything you dream of, everything you want to bring into your life between now and the next new moon. Write it all down, put some thought into it, and don't skimp on the details. When you have wrote down all your intentions for this new moon, I close it out with saying, um, oh yeah, uh, this just came to me. When you're writing out your intentions, make sure you include your feelings. Like I am so grateful. I am so happy. I am so thankful, uh, with your intentions. Um, I close out my letter to the universe and the moon goddess with, um, 
see. Sorry, I'm reading through my intentions. Thank you, universe, source, higher self, guides, and goddess. I am now releasing this to you and release the expectation of the outcome. I hand this to the divine and trust that all this and more will come to my life in the material exactly at the right time. I am truly grateful for all that I have and all that I will receive in the future. Love. And then you sign your name. Make sure you speak from the heart. Um, make sure you sit with yourself and really put some thought into what this is that you want to manifest. Uh, the words, be careful what you wish for. You know, you don't want to experience that. You want to know exactly what you want, exactly how you want to receive it, exactly how you want to feel. And write those all down. Um, after you have closed out your letter and you are finished writing it, sit with yourself in the, and in, in enjoy and um, envelope yourself in the feeling of gratitude and just the beautiful energies of the universe surrounding you, of your angels uh, nearby. Just really sit and feel how good those energies feel. Uh, also, make sure you really sit and feel what you wrote in your intentions. Like, say, um, I, I intend to manifest a puppy. Okay, so I received the puppy that I have always wanted. I am so very thankful, and this brings me so much happiness. Make sure you actually sit and feel what it would feel like to be that happy, to get exactly what you wanted and um, feel those energies because feeling how it feels to receive those is going to help you manifest this. And that really is all a part two, just sitting with yourself, writing your intentions, deciding what your intentions are, putting them, putting them on paper and handwriting them, don't type them out, handwrite them in your journal, in your notebook, and just afterwards sit with yourself for two, three minutes and just feel those feelings, acknowledge those feelings. What does it feel like to be happy, truly happy? What does it feel like to feel that joy? And just allow your body to enjoy the beautiful energy that is surrounding you by these blessings that you're bringing into your life. So that's what I have for part two. I um, encourage you to leave a comment below on your manifestation tips for um, others that are viewing this video, as well as uh, what, man what have you manifested in the past. I would love to read them, and I will be back with part three. I hope you join me as well.